Good morning. It's um, Thursday, first of Ju- first of Ju- I'm going to say fourth, right? So I was getting ready to. First of July, 2021. Uh, so I'm about ready to go do some work. So, But um, before I do, we're going to look at another one of the Steve Jackson pocket games, right? Um, this is the reissue maybe last year. Yeah, maybe they came out last year. They had a kickstart, if I'm not mistaken, for them. And I got a bunch of these because they're cool. And I like the box. I like these. <laughs> I like these bo- um, these these old boxes here. These pocket boxes, right? I had one that was a, but I, I do remember that I think they were thinner. But I had one of uh, awful green things from outer space, and it uh, and it was and it was thin, but. Um, Anyhow, this game here is um, famous, infamous, if you will. This game was what, I think, right about 1980, 81, something like that. It, it, it may be the first, it's one of the first games um, of Steve Jackson games because now there's games that are older than that that... that that wear the Steve Jackson game label, but they were a lot of those ogre, bunch of other ones, was um, done over at metagaming, right? Uh, Melee Wizards, that stuff was done at metagaming. And, um, but I do think this is one of the first as Steve Jackson going out on his own with Steve Jackson games. Um, if not the first, because I do know that uh, this is this original game was on one page, and I've never I had this game on that one page. I might still have it in a box somewhere. I never played it because I never wanted to cut it up, man. I'm just yeah, that's 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 exactly how I am sometimes. I never did play this game. I never did have the pocket box. I do think they did make a pocket box of it. I never did have it, but. Um, so I've never played it, right? but uh, I've had this game in the past. And, uh, you know, Metagaming, whose principal was Howard Thompson, he, he came out with a couple of games. What were they? I have those. I should do a video on those. Um, uh, a Fistful of Turkeys was one, kind of uh, making fun of Steve Jackson. Uh, new layout of that one-page layout like this. And then it was, um, the other one was, one tub bilge, which was a direct, uh, <laughs> direct insult to this one here, a dr- uh, retaliation, if you will. Uh, you know, I guess Howard Thompson just probably felt hurt. I mean, because that was it, man. When Steve Jackson left, um, I guess he took the ogre property. Was that a court? Was that a court issue? So a court case i don't know but he did take the ogre property and so on and uh, i think he got the space gamer too didn't that start at metagaming and then you know i guess you know howard thompson because that was that was done you know i think they put out some games after that but for the most part done um so yeah i guess i'd be a little salty too but you can't blame steve jackson man at all he um He went on to do great things and <laughs> and um, most of, most of the things he's done in the last since 2000 has been Munchkin, right? That's the insert talking about the classic returns. And here is the back of the box, Battle of the Bulge. A regimental level game with complex, complex, complete detailed rules, including weather and allied air su- superiority, German supply and, uh, and isolation, and optional sections for the for bridge destruction and capture of allied supplies. War with only one page of rules, one page bold start as a challenge. Was it possible to design a good war game and keep the rules down to a single? Eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. Play it and find out. War game rules don't have to be long and confusing. I, I, 
that I agree with. I do agree with that. You can, if done right, uh, war game rules do not need to be long and confusing. Although a page, it's cramming a lot in on a page. All right, um, it's a short game, but not a trivial one. One page bold, bold is challenging, fast, and playable, but with a good representation of the last great German offensive of World War II. Components include 16 by 13. Well, you can look at that here. We don't need to go over to computer Steve Jackson games. All right, let's see if I can open this. I swear to you. All right, pair of dots. What is that? Oh yeah, that's the <laughs> that's from uh, what's the, the Illuminati game? Illuminati. Uh, you get a bag. It's always a good deal. And let's see what we got here. Next is going to be the map and the rules. And um, gosh, the counters. Simple counters, functional though, look, NATO symbols, you got, although, you got some tanks on there too, it's okay, it's nothing, nothing spectacular, functional, yeah, functional, well, there's how they would have looked in the original, I guess in the original pocket uh, box, right, look at the map. And rules. They're gonna put it all on gonna put it all on one. Like they like they did back in the day. That's 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 challenging. But cool, you know. There it is. Man. Alright. I'm sold. I think it's cool. I think it's very cool as a matter of fact. I'm going to play this. Not today. Not tomorrow because I'll be taking it easy tomorrow. Uh, but I'll be in the outdoors. So. All right. Let's see if we can. Do they have any kind of. It's so, so small. Is there any uh, sequence of play? And in the game. Man. They start on, yeah, might start over here. Turn record track. Oh, wow. CRT. I'm going to get a copy of this here. This is why I didn't ever play it to start with. Never cut it up. I buy and copy it. it. ain't no problem. And this, I, you know, you, it might be worth cutting up. It's just, you know, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. Maybe my, my about this game. One page, but yeah, we looked at that. How to play. Hints for play. Wow. <laughs> play balance. Solitary play. One page bold is well suited for solitary play. Since the number of units is relative. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I would honestly could argue that it probably... Maybe better than solitaire, just because. Okay, introduction. There we go. Set up for play. Turn sequence. Up. All right. So, like most games, one page bulb is played in alternating turns. Okay, whatever. Reinforcement. Isolation, movement, combat, and that's it, man. But you know what? That's that's all you need: reinforcement, isolation, movement, combat. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. It's all you need for a small game. Look at that. Got some historical notes. Even get a historical notes in there, man. That's cool. It is kind of cool, I have to say. I would have liked them to had a. Uh, Let's play a couple of play aids in there. 
with the uh, that would give you the CRT and the turn record track, right? I would have liked him for him to do that, but you know, like I said, I made a copy of it. Ain't no big deal. Map extremely simple, extremely simple hex map, but uh, functional. Yeah, functional. So. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. You know, it's just such a, it's such a cool uh, ideal, right? And um, like I said, I never, I never I played the, the actual game. But all right, I went on enough. I, I think it's, uh, I think it's cool. Well done. Well done. Thank you, Steve Jackson Games, for reproducing and uh, reproducing these. And trading on nostalgia. It doesn't bother me at all. All right, y'all. I think you get this. You can get this for what? 20 bucks on Amazon. Totally worth it for me. Get a few of them, um, a bunch more of them. So, y'all have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.